Welcome to the MuleSoft tutorials. So in previous video, we have gone through how to create a project. So in this video, we'll go through like how to create a domain project. So first of all, what is domain project? So if we want to share some resources between two projects, we can create one domain project and we will give the resource in domain project and we can use that resource in both our in any of our project. So let's say uh, I want to create one domain project. So before that, uh, I will create one new project, normal project that is mule project. So let's say my project name is proj1 finish. So this will create my new project one. This will add all the dependencies which are required. Then we'll create a new mule project. Let's say sproj2. Click on finish. This will create my second project which is pros2. Now these are the simple projects that are the mule project where we, we have gone through right. Now I'm going to create one more project, which is domain project. So for that, click on file, new, mule domain project. Here, let's say uh, proj domain uh, finish. So this will create my domain project. So as you can see, uh, we have only SRC main domain and SRC main resources. There is no app, there is no API, there is no test. So whatever we will add in this configuration XML that can be used in many projects. That is a shared resource we are using different projects. So here you cannot see any palette, anything over here. We cannot drag and drop here. So if you are good in XML, you can write it directly XML over here configuration or else you can go to some project, go to global config, create a new connector. Let's say I want to use Salesforce bit basic authentication. Here I will give like text at the rate example.com is my username. Let's say test is my password and we have security token. So let's say test is my security token i click on ok save it then after fetching all the metadata then go to the configuration we'll copy this string or else we can cut this string from here and we will paste that in our global that is our domain xml save all Okay, so here uh, I have added one Salesforce connector. Now, if I want to use that Salesforce connector in any of the project, what I need to do, I need to open my project and to go to muleproject.xml. Here it is default domain. I need to map this to the pros domain and save it. Same way for pros2, I need to go to muleproject.xml. Here I will do a pros domain. Control S. So after saving all this, uh, when I go to my app.xml and uh, I want to have, let's say I have one flow inside that I have, let's say Salesforce connector. So you, here you can see there is already one connector. So this connector is referring to the domain. So here I don't need to create the same connector over here. Okay, I can save it. And let's say uh, I have pros2 also, which is using the same connector. I will open pros2.xml. We'll go to message flow. We'll create one flow over here. And then we'll drag one Salesforce connector to the process. 
and here also you can see yeah Salesforce basic authentication and here we can we select our operation and we can perform the operation so in this way we can use the shared resources in different projects just by creating one domain project okay so hope you understand this domain project concept that's it for this uh, tutorial we'll see you in our next tutorial thank you